Okay, talking of the opposite of horrible people, I got I got like a look there. Go, go on, go for it. I've got. Hang on, I'm going to move around here and do this, and I'm going to. That's why I'm going to get rid. Of, no, I'll keep that up there. Actually, what am I doing? Uh, Mr. Mark here has some fabulous fab four facts for us but we do have i usually do the numbers i usually go number one number five and i make a complete pig's ear of it i, I thought that was part of the the charm the charm <laughs> well i was gonna make, say i was fact gonna let one, some other people two. oh well yes. i was gonna let our guests mm. do it so we've got one two three four so five. they could do the numbers if you pointed them okay so this when i be point to you you go and i can show fact up. one fact two Fact three. They're all and, acknowledging him. And He's sh- pointing sh- with his finger yes. and then should nodding. We, should we entrust you with fact four? Oh, well, me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's, let's yeah. do that okay. then. Okay. Yeah. Right. Hooray. Okay. So this week, we've got links between the Beatles and TV detectives. Fact one. The Beatles had a smash hit in the 1960s with Can't Buy Me Love. In that very same decade, Shirley Bassey also sang a hit song about buying things with Hey Big Spender. And Spender was the name of the detective, played by Geordie Hardman, Jimmy Nail. Fact two. The Beatles' favourite recording studio was Abbey Road. They even named an album after it, called Abbey Road. <laughs> and who would you find in an abbey? None other than 12th century monk turned detective, Brother Cadfail. Fact three. The Beatles had a famous Mac in the form of bassist Paul McCartney, while TV detective Columbo was famous for always wearing a Mac. Fact four. According to Rolling Stone magazine, George Harrison, the third best songwriter in the Beatles, wrote the 136th best ever song in While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And who better to stop you weeping than a humorous detective with the surname Gently, with Dirk Gently and his holistic detective agency. Wow, amazing facts. And what you didn't know about that was the fact that when my my, my first dates I ever had with the lady who is my wife, um, I was reading a book uh, deliberately uh, in a way of that you do when you look at a book and put it in front of you and the words move from one, yeah, that thing. And she saw me and thought I was this amazing intellectual. It worked. It wasn't well, true, though. You can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Oh, hey. What a